This week, we confirmed that Yellowstone is officially cancelled after Season 5, which is still a difficult fact to acknowledge as die-hard fans. Naturally, we are all thinking about why this has happened and who should be blamed for all these atrocities. The scapegoat of this situation shifts between Kevin Costner and Taylor Sheridan constantly, with each new development bringing new clarity to the situation. But the art form is also, that has much deeper implications as the episodes wind on. The latest information changed the winds once again as the sources closest to the two blame Sheridan for having a God complex. A source that spoke to Daily Mail expressed that Sheridan has a God complex on the set of the hit show, which causes Coster to feel dismissed in regards to his input on the show's progress as the executive producer. In fact, the source claimed that Sheridan went as far as to say Coster to stick to acting, which is just outrageous. This news is shocking to us since Sheridan is far from being a new face in the sector and so far we never heard of such things about his demeanor. Sheridan was born on May 21, 1970 in Cranfield's Gap, Texas and grew up in Waco, Texas. He initially pursued a career in acting and appeared in various films and television shows including Sons of Anarchy and Veronica Mars. However, he eventually shifted his focus to screenwriting and has since become known for his work in the crime thriller genre. His breakthrough came in 2015 when he wrote the screenplay for the film Sicario, which was directed by Denis Villeneuve and starred Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro, and Josh Brolin. He followed this up with the screenplay for Hell or High Water in 2016, which was directed by David McKenzie and starred Chris Pine, Ben Foster, and Jeff Bridges. And then in 2018, Yellowstone hit the screens and made Sheridan a true household name. During all these years, we never not once heard that Sheridan is a narcissistic person with an offensive attitude. In the past, some reports and interviews suggest that Sheridan is a confident and determined individual who has a clear vision for his work and strives to bring it to fruition. While these traits can sometimes be perceived as egotistical, they can also be seen as positive qualities in a creative professional who is passionate about their craft. And we always prefer the second option while evaluating Sheridan. Kevin will forever be proud of and grateful for Yellowstone and the cast is like family to him, the source continued. He just felt like Yellowstone is headed in a direction that was not in line with their initial vision and he was met with criticism, including that he should just stick to acting. Now these words are also confusing to us as so far most of the reports blamed Costner for the downfall of Yellowstone, as he has claimed to have a diva attitude that refused to work more than a week in the set. It was really clear how I fit in Yellowstone as Some journalists claimed that he was the problem, as he wanted everyone to follow his terms rather than the terms that are determined collectively. It was even claimed that the cast and crew were sick of Costner's attitude and were happy to see him go. But similar to Sheridan, Costner has also never been seen as an egoistic figure. Despite having multiple decades in front of the public eye, he was never once seen as a self-absorbed individual. And I'd like to say uh, you're all taller than I thought. Based on his public persona and interviews, he has been described as a confident and assertive person, but not necessarily egotistical. On the contrary, Costner has often been praised for his down-to-earth attitude and friendly demeanor by his colleagues and fans, so once again we are puzzled about who to trust. Previously this week it was reported that Sheridan has an overburdened schedule which troubled the production process and messed up with the filming timetable. So even though Costner was available, Sheridan was never there with scripts ready at his hand. We all know that Sheridan is working on more than 10 projects at once right now which is just too much. Many fans criticize him for undermining Yellowstone for the sake of coming up with other shows, and it seems like Coster feels the same as well. You know what a fucking mess. Only Taylor truly knows what is going on. Taylor spent years not being truly appreciated in Hollywood, and now that he's the top of the heap, there's definitely some ego to all of this. The source further express. With all these sources making contradictory statements on the truth of Yellowstone, we can't help but suspect that Sheridan and Coster are both leaking these arguments to blame one another. Knowing that the two have had a pretty great relationship so far, seeing them feuding in the public eye like this is truly heartbreaking. While there is no information available about whether Kevin Costner and Taylor Sheridan are close friends, they have both publicly praised each other's work on Yellowstone. Previously, in an interview with Deadline, Costner spoke about his admiration for Sheridan's writing, saying he has the ability to take human beings and show them to you in a way that I think is very sophisticated. Similarly, Sheridan has praised Costner's acting abilities, stating in an interview with Variety that Kevin Costner is one of the greatest actors of our generation. Additionally, both Costner and Sheridan have expressed excitement about working together on future projects beyond Yellowstone. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Sheridan mentioned that he has several other projects in development with Costner, saying, We've been working on a couple of things that we're excited about. Costner has also expressed interest in continuing to work with Sheridan, stating in an interview with Collider, 
I'll do anything that he thinks is interesting and is good storytelling. And yet it seems like a lot has happened since then, and the two legends are simply not on good terms anymore. The worst part of all these is the fact that Yellowstone has fallen victim to their animosity, which is such a shame. Who are you siding with in all these saga? Are you angry at Sheridan and Costner for ultimately ruining Yellowstone? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.